Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you a legendary weapon called Subsidized Savvy uh, Fearmonger. I will be showing this weapon off in action, and also we'll be doing some first impressions. It's level 50 with 561 times 8 damage, 72% accuracy, 74% handling, 3.1 seconds reload time, 1.99 seconds fire rate, magazine size is 15, and the red text says, I can't hold their fear, only my own. Negative 64% weapon damage, plus 10% critical hit damage, plus 25% weapon shield capacity, 100 uh, splash damage radius, consumes 3 ammo per shot, weapon shield capacity 3,569, and damage to projected front facing shield amplifies weapon damage. It's a Hyperion shotgun with 1361 damage per second at 48% chance, chance corrosive. I got this weapon from the Bloody Harvest event, so in the background you can see I'm in it right now. It is October 25th, 2019, so I ran around and killed some enemies and got this weapon to drop. You could also get it to drop from Captain Haunt, which he has a much higher chance of dropping this weapon, but I got it from a regular enemy. Now, yes, the Bloody Harvest event, I got it from that. I also want to mention that as of right now, there's no summary for this weapon on the site I use. Uh, so they don't have any information on it, so I'll just tell you what I know about it. So, for someone that just got this weapon like minutes ago, I will tell you what I have noticed. So, the damage to projected front facing shield amplifies weapon damage. I'm pretty sure that is brand new. It's normally um, something else. It's not weapon damage. Now, also, it's purple as well, which I believe that is new. Normally, the other items are legend uh, legendary. They're orange, but this one's purple, so this is very new to me at least. So that is something different. Instead of something else, it's just damage, so that's really, really cool. It also has a uh, Halloween skin, so it's a, it's got its own legendary effect, or well, legendary skin on this gun, so that's very, very nice. You won't see this on any other gun. And also, yes, yeah, so and nothing else is over there. Now, the projectiles, I'll show you this real quick. If I shoot this gun, it shoots four projectiles in its own unique pattern. So this legendary pattern is that effect right there it also sticks as well so as you see it shoots four projectiles and it uh explodes more than four times i believe it's eight times because the gun says eight times projectiles and it only shows four but it actually has two hidden ones or one hidden one in each projectile i believe and it's corrosive as well i'm i believe you can get this in yeah corrosive shock and and cryo apparently that's what that says so that might be actually true let's give this gun a shot Okay, so right here at the front gate, we're going to shoot some enemies. Now, this gun, I've used barely any of it. I've killed a few enemies with it, and I'm actually quite happy with it. The damage seems to be very, very nice, so that's why I'm showing this off right now. Now, obviously, the crosshair and the recoil is not going to look good because I just got cursed. But yes, the damage overall is very, very good. I am on True Vault Hunter mode, no mayhem at all, just True Vault Hunter mode, and... Yes, the gun looks nice, I love the legendary pattern on it, and yes, it's quite powerful as well. I overall do recommend the shotgun, in my opinion, I am on my mode, so it's going to obviously work the best. But yes, this gun is actually pretty decent, and I love the, um, the secondary damage for the explosions after sticking them, so that's very, very nice as well. So I overall like this gun, if I'm missing any legendary effects, let me know. Other than that, I'll probably find that later down the track when they add a summary. But other than that, that's pretty much this gun. Thank you guys for watching, and see you later.